Boom, baby! Boom, baby! Thunder! Who said we sucked? Who said it? I want to know. Bring me him. Oh, they're coming, dog. They're coming. I'll explain all this to you in a minute. All right, over the top, over the top. Behind us. Ah. Oh, jeez. That's a good sign. Yeah, that's a good sign for sure. First pigeon have been spotted. Go! Yeah! What up, y'all? Welcome back to another one. We are up to no good. Uh, silencer on the Benelli 12 gauge with the extension tube. Look how pretty that is. Isn't that sweet? And then. Old Cole Joseph, if you don't know who Cole is, you've been living in a hole for quite some time. <laughs> uh, we do a lot of this stuff together. Both guides and uh, we run waterfowl hunts. Tell them what that is. This is an AR-12 gauge. Shoots six shots. And got a clip. We've got a little sight here. Uh huh. I don't know, that's about it. It's an AR-12 <laughs> gauge. It's gonna be sweet. We tried to put my silencer on it last night. Uh, but unfortunately, it's the wrong choke thread. So we're gonna have to look into that. But got those two guns that we're gonna switch back and forth from. Uh, and then old Cole Joseph brought this bad boy. Show him, show him your other oh, bad yeah, boy. A little lever action 410 going uh -huh. on here. A little 410, you can slide the shells right in here. I don't know if they can hear you whatsoever. Really, yeah, there's a big train track behind us. It's insane. The train behind us. You guys are gonna have to bear with us. but. Lever action 410, um, and it only shoots the two and a half inch 410 shells, not the three inch. So, all kinds of different varieties here. Uh, guns that we're not used to whatsoever. I'm used to my Benelli with the silencer, but it's been a minute. Um, but all <laughs> that's guns hard are... to shoot. That's hard to shoot. <laughs> that's hard to shoot. So, it's true. Hopefully, we can kill some. <laughs> you put one of these big silencers on your 12 gauge, it does take some time. So, cross your fingers, hope we shoot something. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, they're landing on the line. See, that's why I think we need a mojo to pull them off of that power line. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. We really screwed up on the mojo situation today. Ah. <laughs> Missing one of the bars, the main bar that the mojo actually sits in. Yeah. We don't have that one. So. <laughs> we, tried, we tried to rig it up. We got noises galore. We got planes going overhead. We got trains freaking out. Oh. But, uh, yeah, we actually need the mojo, I think. We're gonna have to come up with something here. Right over the top. You wanna shoot these two? Yeah. Shoot them. Oh, I stuck. Gosh dang it. Hey, good sign. That is good we sign. were not ready. Gosh dang it. This did not cycle for junk. Look at you. Jeez. I was a amp. Oh. Where's he at? Better shoot him. Oh. Dang it, get him. I thought you were going to get him. No. I didn't want to shoot over the road, you know? Yeah. That's one thing. We, we got to like stop here. Gosh darn. I might come back. Yeah. You're going to have to shoot him. I'm not. This is a flock gun. I can't, <laughs> yeah. can't hit the singles. Uh, hey, at least we've shot at something. Yeah, no kidding. He might not know anything. Pretty windy. Come on, bird. Gosh dang it. If you can just give me a flyover, I'm Check sending it. Uh, maybe. Fly over the top, buddy. Man. Well, at least we're off. Hey, yeah, off to the races. We're off and running now. Behind us. He's going to the power line. Okay. All right. Well, what time is it? 11.30 probably? Yeah, about 11.30. Uh, we sat to like nine, only saw a handful, so we quickly decided that it is in fact an evening, afternoon, midday type of deal, routine that the birds are on. Um, so we went and got some breakfast, did some scouting, and we came back. Uh, first birds there to show up at, let me see the exact time, 11.38. Um, so it's an afternoon thing, 
hopefully it heats up quite a bit yesterday when we scouted it most of them were here at 3 30 and they were still coming so uh we got a lot of day left and hopefully we can do some work on them with these guns that we are not used to <laughs> i was probably two feet over that <laughs> yeah and my gun did not cycle <laughs> where are they at right here. on the right oh. Come on. oh we got white wingers you better get ready dude there's a white his wings are all white and that other one's a grizzle those are pretty birds pretty bird come meet the ar-12 shotgun yeah, I know. god you look what are you doing with this thing dude <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not hitting anything that's for sure you know one question from clients which all the clients that we have and that come are great but just a joke so Bob, uh, why do you think they're not liking the spread? <laughs> Complete joke, y'all. Shout out to all the clients that come here and uh, hunt with me here at San Diego Flyways. You know the deal. I'm... We like to razz each other out here. Get ready, get ready. Tear them up. Son of a... Yeah, it's not cyclone, dude. I'm gonna try to shoot this thing. Alright. Yeah, it's not doing it. Oh, it's Darn it. The bottom. Well, <clears throat> not doing that anymore. Darn it, darn it, darn it, darn it, darn it. I let her eat there. <sighs> Alright, we're uh <laughs> we're switching it up. That gun is not cycling. Oh, <laughs> Did I shoot over them? I wish I knew if I shot over them or not. Right. That yeah. AR, that's going to get tough to get used that to. That is. It is. Very All right, good. I'm going to go straight to the lever action 410. We'll go. We'll just go those two guns because they shoot. Darn it. The, uh, the tube. The gun was already uh, having trouble in snow goose season sticking back. The, the whole bolt sticking back. Light loads, it's doing it real bad, so. Well, thank you, brother. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> Four ten. Here we go. You can shoot this one too. We'll do. I'll, or I'll shoot that. I'll one. start with this one. Okay. <laughs> Let's two get one down. <laughs> right. Two and a half inch shells, not three. Oh, they see us over the top. Get ready. They're swinging wide left. Right. There they come. Here they come. Oh yeah. Trains right here, dude. They don't like the train, I can tell you right now. Here they come. We have to take whatever we can. Oh. Yeah, that train. There's this like train depot behind us, and they they move cars and detach them and do a bunch of stuff. That was the best flock, yeah. Gosh. They got me amped up. We could have shot on the first one, but wouldn't have hit hardly. No, uh, I don't know if we would have hit them. Well, hopefully they come back. They're not spooked out too bad. Oh, no. I didn't rack a shell. Gosh. Back. Yeah, let's see if we can take something. Jeez. Was there no shell in it? Uh-uh. Or the other was. What'd it do? Oh, the primer hit it. Jeez. Barely. Well, man, we'll have to be careful shooting. Well, be all right. That way, it don't matter. It's that. It's when you Handy. uncock it. Once it's already been cocked, when you uncock it by pushing the trigger and letting it off lightly, it's not. Something's happening. Why not cock the lawyer? <laughs> Shoot the two. Shoot them. Oh, what's the freaking AR? Oh. Man, you just... Son of a, what's this wrong with just, all these guns? This is just not going right. I clicked. I shot one. Good shot. <laughs> Dude, and then it jammed. We've had issues with every gun. Now, now, it, now it works. Did it click on the first one again? Yes. 
Oh my goodness. Uh, Talk about a poop show. This is ridiculous. One bird down. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. Pull him out good, here. A white shot. shot. Good Dude, shot. Thanks. That thing's not easy to shoot with. That's pretty sweet though. Gosh. Pretty sweet of a little rig. Cole goes, up two. Up five actually. I'm like, Bleh. trying to get what? my camera going. I gotta go find this bird. <laughs> when it hit it, it hit it. Here's the spread. Blinds in the corner. Good looking little full body spread. One flock of flicker. Uh, not by choice. Again, another failure on two different levels. Here we go. Blue check. Just give him a look over. Young bird. Right, right here. Oh, look at that white one, dude. He's cool. He is pure white. Look at that. With black on the top. Where are they? They're coming pretty slow. Here we go. Going to the line. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Come on, baby. It's much better. Oh, here we go. Shoot him. Oh, I threw off. Shoot, I drew feathers on the first one. He, should, he might go down. Maybe not. Probably not. Darn. All right, I got a little There's just a two coming behind me. This is. You got a full deal? You got a full clip over there? Yeah. Do you? Better get ready, there's... How do you... Oh, there we go. Here, you can shoot this. Did that fire? No. It didn't? I cocked and the second shot fired. I don't know what's going on today. <laughs> I, I think someone's just telling us. We, <laughs> to go home? We go home. Uh, oh, well. There we go. Okay. Well. I don't get it. Yeah. <sighs> well, you want to shoot this or what? Did that fire? That didn't fire? It fired after I cocked it in the second shot. The first one. It didn't shoot on the first one again? No. Okay. We just need to go back to the other 12 gauge. At least yeah. it shoots one. Yeah, let's do that. Good night. Here, you take that and I'll take that for a minute. Since I already shot a bird, you need to shoot a bird with it. All right, dude, unreal. So we're going back to my Benelli, which is broke. I think, I think we clarified something's broken here, obviously, but it will fire uh, one shot for sure. So here we go. Man, talk about amateur hour out here. I mean, geez. Come on. One shot Sherlock here. They go into the deal. Yep, look at that, right to the wire. Over here, oh, not yet. Come on now. See us? No, they're, they're leaving. Oh, right here on the left, these coming on the left. These are hard, two for sure. Oh. If they get over the top. Oh. Man. Oh. I wish they'd dip over the top of us. No, they like that line. Eels. Yep. Poopy pants. Maybe we just start fucking blasting pitch sounds in the turf balls. Could work. Get them to jump down here. Oh, <laughs> jeez. Never know. Oh, yeah. Man, they're being weird today. Well, they just have a destination mind fighting that wind. That's mm -hmm. where they're not looking around. Mm -hmm. The conditions are just keeping them to their line on their destination. Get them. Oh, yeah. Shoot him. Yeah! We did it. Yeah, we did it. it. Oh, it cycled. Nice. I didn't expect it to cycle. Boom, oh, baby. Oh, I hit one. Boom, baby. Oh, Thunder. Two for two. Who said we suck? <laughs> Who said it? I want to know. Bring me him. We're, ta we're taking him to council. Dude, when they get off this left side, they're golden. They yeah, they gotta come from way left. 
Right. Heck, yeah. you want to go get them for your bidja? Yeah, that was first pitch for both of us with the AR. The AR. That's sick. Oh, baby. And they dropped how they're Finally. supposed to. Yeah, those did it nasty. <laughs> Bring us a band back, Daddy. Come on. Come on. Oh, that'd be crazy if it did. Blind situation today. Panel, two chairs, a camo net behind us. This is really nice. It's blocking a lot of wind. This morning, even though we didn't see very many birds, we didn't shoot anything. Uh, it kept the sun out of our eyes when we had to look that way uh, to see if pigeons were coming. So easy peasy today. Uh, safety tip number one: it is very windy out of the north east. No band. No band. So we got two. Windy out of the northeast coming from the back. Oh yeah, get ready. Shoot him. Oh, good jammed. One. Good shot. I hit that one. I dude, I puffed it hard. Jeez. Fall out. Good shot. Jammed on me. I puffed him. I don't know why he didn't fall. Shoot him, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, it is windy, y'all. This is the bird I just shot. Let's check him out. A blue bird. A little older bird. Not real old. You're going to go right there, buddy. Oh, see that? Gosh darn. One of them's going to see us. Nope. Wow. Smart bitch. Probably adults are paired up, you know, older yeah. birds. I don't know. Here we are trying to scientifically figure out pigeons. <laughs> <laughs> you know. I'd say they definitely gave us the bird. <laughs> what could it be? Oh, come on. Draw it over. Three of them. Low one. Ooh, two. Out front, out front, out front. Get him. Yeah! Boom, baby! Nice. Hold on. They switched, so I wasn't sure which one you were going to aim at. Yeah, I know. They switched right at the... double tap the oh. elbows. Give me some. Boom! That was nice. Yeah! Gosh dang, that was fun. That was sweet. Putting two shells in, because that worked. However, it's cycling, you know. Did you shoot two? Yeah. Rip two? Heck yeah. <laughs> well, there we go. Another uh, blue bar. Good looking bird. Adjusting the spread, are you? Getting her in, getting her in uh, tip top shape. Oh, yeah, just, this is the one. This is the one. That guy right there is going to do it. Uh huh. Watch it blow over again. <laughs> Hurry, 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 hurry. Hurry, out front, out front. Shoot the, shoot, shoot the blow one right here. Oh. Get him! Oh. What happened, man? It didn't, wasn't like all the way. My gun wasn't all the way closed. We are still effing around out here. I, how can you just. I don't know. Completely. Felt like I was on it. No, how can I just completely keep biffing up the whole hunt here? <laughs> I was like, no, the, the low one in front, they got a head. Oh, my. Reload. Okay. <sighs> I, I don't know if I've ever struggled so bad trying to make a hunting YouTube video in know. my entire <laughs> career here. <laughs> no absolute, I am not kidding. It's been one heck of a struggle today. Yeah. Struggle bussing. Makes you appreciate the good ones. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate those good hunts. These three. These three. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Car back over. Oh. <laughs> Oof. Oh my Bam. goodness. Look at that oh, right here. Three, two, coming, oh, two, coming, two coming. Two coming. Two coming. Yep. Yep. We're shooting. I'm gonna sit down at their left side. Shoot. Shoot now. 
This thing just can literally, oh, he's hurting, he's hurting. One down, that one. Is he going down? He landed in the tree. Okay, get him. Oh, give him another, would you? <laughs> is, is he dead for God's like, sake? No, I don't even think he's dead. Oh my like lord. Tell us what right around him. Oh. I feel winded after all that. Oh. Darn, darn, darn. We spread the decoys out. We did it all. We're Here we are. Oh, are they going to do it? No. Mm -mm. Uh -uh. No bueno, sir. No bueno. Okay. Dang it. Just poop out of luck yet again. Ugh. Jeez. Leave them there. See what happens. Hopefully they stay there a minute. Jeez. Damn. That's crazy. Really? Where'd the other one go? Jeez. Ah. Oh. We got Mr. Film Man Cole Townsend on the sticks. <laughs> We're introducing him to some pigeon trapping. First time, and I, I actually didn't pigeon trap all last season. We are. We're gonna load this rooftop. Gonna load this rooftop up to get them to find it. I don't think there's a ton using it at the moment. So we're gonna bait the hell out of it and uh, see what we come up with. <laughs> oh. Yeah. So they're like, please get them out of here. Oh, I bet. How are you? Good, pigeon guy. Oh, okay. The pigeon master. <laughs> Here's the piss for Cole. You need oh, to yeah. Okay, you better go. Let me have the camera. There you go. <laughs> I'm like, you want me to show that? Here we go. <laughs> Dang. Okay. This is where I'm usually like, fire up the camera. You ready? Yeah. Let's go see what's in there. Yeah. I usually keep this just for a rain catcher so I can use the water. Oh, so I yeah. I can carry up water because there's not a spigot out here. Just every rooftop I put a bucket, automatic rain catcher. She didn't blow off. That's good. Just put it right here in this little like, wind area so it doesn't get swept off. Because we got two there. One of these waters are good and I think it's this one. So that thing's for the shade, I guess? Yeah, that cool. helps a lot. I'll use this one. Well, that works. Yeah. But it, you just the only ones you can buy from TSC are these really small ones that don't last long. Yeah. And like the key is, like your main bait, get to where they can't like eat it like that. They have to go in there to eat. Yeah. Well, I may be novice, but how the heck do they get in there? Right here, all these doors. Oh. oh there's one, two, three, four, five, six doors on this one. Oh yeah, so I, I see. Throw that up. So you just maybe want a little bit around. Well, and then trail like, them in there. Yeah, then you put just like enough right here for us to go in and get it. Not much. Oh. That's pretty cool. Yeah. And then since it's the first go, you do have to get their attention and usually like just make a light trail to it. Ah. 
looks good on this black roof, doesn't it? <laughs> oh man. So they look and they preen all on the edge, so you just like drop down the edge and they're like, oh. Yeah. There's the pile. Yeah. <laughs> the golden trail. Uh-huh. That's awesome. And that's it. Perfect. Yeah. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. <laughs> Huh. Well, amateur hour at its finest, let me tell you what. Yes, so a couple updates before I forget. Number one, the Benelli. Sorry about the sounds we got. Chickens, ducks going crazy out here. Yes, they are all our pets. No, we do not eat them. But quick update on the Benelli situation. It was like mid-season this past fall um, in my Benelli. It just started... Like, like you've seen, like I was saying, the bolt just shoving back and sticking. I don't know why. Uh, I have torn it down 20 times, completely scrubbed it, cleaned it. Uh, after that hunt, we brought it back, scrubbed it, cleaned it, took the entire bolt assembly apart. The trigger assembly completely apart. Um, fired a couple rounds through it. It seemed like it was doing better out back. Freshly lubed and cleaned. We're gonna have to try it again. I don't know if I'm gonna have to send it off and get it gone through or what. A lot of my guns like the Benelli, the Franke, uh, the guns, they go through a ton of shells. I, I shoot all year around, whether it's ducks, dove, geese, pigeon, turkey, whatever, right? All year round. So my shotguns that I use on the daily get used a ton so I, I tend to wear them out pretty darn quickly as far as the trapping goes uh i just started a new trapping video y'all are going to want to see it you guys have been requesting that i start the trapping videos yet again they're up and running the next video that drops will in fact be a pigeon trapping video hopefully if not the next one or the next one uh, i do have a lot of duck and goose hunting from this past season that you guys have not seen uh professionally filmed da 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 not professionally edited your boy's gonna do that <laughs> but those videos are coming as well uh but the pigeon trapping i got on a roof that i have been wanting to get on for a long time absolutely juiced with pigeons everywhere they're like destroying all the ac units on top of this huge building massive rooftop tons of pigeons the the i i checked the pigeon trap this morning they were just now kind of finding it and getting acquainted with it um so once they uh run out of feed hi mr rooster once they run out of feed on the ground uh, around the trap they're gonna have to be forced to go inside to eat so Tomorrow, the next day, we should start trapping them bad boys. We hear you, buddy. As far as the lodge goes, we have some November dates, December, January, February dates remaining. If you haven't got your spot here at Sandhill Flyways, go to the website, sandhillflyways.com, fill out the booking form, bring your dad, bring your brother, bring your family, bring your company. We do corporate events, uh, anything, three meals a day, full lodging. We clean your birds for you, food, snacks, beverages, all provided. It is an inclusive hunting three-day experience, and I am very proud to say that it's in my backyard and uh, we have refined it and I am deeply in love, madly in love with my guide service, my guys, the process, all of you guys coming every season is amazing. I, I truthfully love it so much. But sandhillflyways.com, fill out the booking form. My information's on there. Contact me, let's get you on the books. Um, season is gonna be coming, summer, hopefully goes by fast. I've been trying to find more pigeons found one it might produce we will see drop a comment down below and tell me what you guys want to see on these off-season videos some magnet fishing i know you guys want to see that too thank you all for being here subscribe if you haven't but until next time